Okay, I think I need to go back a little bit more. Yes. Okay, here we go. So zero. Weird. Wait, we just did it. Holy smokes. Oh my God. Okay. back to gaming with the Hackett's we're gonna try this again settings whoops wrong button just in case <clears throat> you have to do it at like the very tip oh I can't see the thing anymore So it looks like 60% is the max or something. All right, I'm going to get out because it seems like I'm getting closer and closer to this thing. I can't even see. Like, yeah, this is how it starts, and then eventually you're just way out of focus. Really? Come on. And that was Balderdash. I'm going to go for this one since it seems like. to do that. Okay. And you have five minutes to do all this. Like, this is insane. And it keeps zooming in. Okay. <laughs> Which way? <laughs> Shoot, is it A or D? <laughs> Oh no. Oh crap. Uh, D. Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm so worried. 
Oh, I forgot that's all the way out. I am so trash. <laughs> that happen I didn't even push that one all the way in dang it I meant to hit D and this is why I absolutely hate this. So I wonder if the best way to actually use the crane is to just leave it straight across instead of trying to rotate it or anything. I wonder if that would work better than rotating the, the rail and then trying to rotate the actual claw, just leave it like, I don't want to say parallel, but leave it in this, oh, it's not even horizontal. So maybe make it parallel to like this wall and then just move this way. Actually, okay, never mind. I thought these were like two and then two on the outside too. So they were all like in a line, not in a line, but in the groups of two that they were in a line. So you would just slide over. So it was all horizontal or parallel, I should say, not horizontal. I don't know why I keep saying horizontal. Okay. So we're going to do this again. Actually, maybe they are. Hey, dummy, go the other way. Okay, so you see how these two are like this? If you can match up that angle and then come here, these two are aligned, these two are aligned, and those two are aligned. Maybe that would make it easier to push back in. See, how did I get hurt? I don't understand that. That did half damage. Yeah, see how it's like crooked? Yeah, we're gonna bring it slightly over so that it matches up parallel to this wall. And I think that'll actually help us. I'm gonna get out real quick and take a peek. Ooh, ooh, that looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, I think I need to go back a little bit more. Yes. Okay, here we go. This is zero. Weird. Oh, 
and we just did it. Holy smokes. Oh my God, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the one right next to it. Okay, so I guess what I'll try, since this was a fail again, I'm gonna try to melt down the core, see if I can extract the fuel, and then also cool the reactor, I think are the two conditions. Okay, so it says that we need to reduce the fuel temp and also extract the fuel. So we're gonna try this. We need to refuel the generator, I think. I think we ran out of fuel, probably. Probably on batteries. I'm really surprised that it hasn't run out of fuel. And why'd the crane go onto the diesel? That doesn't make sense. I've also never been able to actually All right, so it actually it actually does work. You can just put the fuel right in at a hundred or zero inches. Okay, we're gonna give some flow. Maybe that'll help keep it in the right band. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. So close. Come on. Don't fail me. Come on. Get back up there. You now secure it. Maybe I can... Come on. We're so close. Here we go, here we go. Okay. We're gonna try scramming. Extract the fuel from the reactor core. Deposit ID. Fuel block must be out of the core and the control rods must be inserted. God, why is it so hard to see. The control rod's out yet? Oh my god, hurry up! <laughs>
Did it did it do it? I can't even tell. Oh my god, I'd be dead. I can't even tell if the fuel got transported. Oh, it says it's in there. Is my pump not on? Can't even see. Yeah, but I extracted the fuel. Come on. <laughs> Did it work? Did it work? There's no explosion. There's no explosion. Does that mean that it was six? Oh my God, there's radiation everywhere. Oh my God. Well, the alarm's not alarming. Oh, there it is. Now the real question is, did it explode and we just glitched? Guess I can take a look outside, see if there's a giant beam of light. No explosion. So if there is no explosion, then how did I not, how did I not win? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like... Oh my god, I can't even see anything. I'm just gonna pause here. So I removed the, the core, the fuel from the core, which was one of the objectives. And then it says, cool down. It says the fuel, but I don't know how you cool down the fuel when it's removed from the core, unless I was supposed to remove it, fill the thing up, and then discard it? I'm gonna go look at some real quick. Probably turn that pump off. But if I took that hazmat suit off, I would just die instantly. Okay, let's take a peek. <laughs> yeah, releasing radiation. Got it. How much does it cost to clear up the radiation? Oh, so much stuff. 
Well, you know what? Let's take out a loan and see. <laughs> Maybe I need to do this. Oops. Two million. Four installments. You know what? I don't have the unlimited tasks. <coughs> hey, why would I get hurt? Why is my pump smoking? Okay, well, I removed the fuel, I cooled the reactor down. I guess I didn't do everything correctly the way it should be. Because it's supposed to take you back to the main menu and then you get to restart and you get like a bunch of points or something. Okay, well I did. Okay, well it says it right there. If you do one of these, then you get you prevent a catastrophic consequence of a core meltdown, but also in, uh, earn prestige points as a testament to your reactor management skills. I extracted and stored the damaged fuel block, and nothing happened besides it didn't melt down. And I also cooled the fuel to less than 150 before I even extracted it. It was down to like 50-some degrees, so why didn't this... Okay, well, you saw it here. I did it. I stopped the meltdown. There was no core explosion. Everything should be fine, but we didn't get the prestige points, and we didn't... Nothing happened. So, so yes, it is possible to prevent a core meltdown, but now you're going to have to live with this alarm constantly going off for your entire gameplay. So maybe it's best that we just don't melt down the reactor in the first place. And if we do, maybe we should just get out of Dodge and take the take the train out of out of here. Uh to end this, I will I'll go try try to take the train and we'll see what happens. Well, I guess that's it, so... Let's see what it says. Literally nothing. Alright, well... That's today's video, and... I'm really kind of upset that I did exactly what it told me to and didn't get anything for it. Like, honestly, 
that should have given me something. So thanks for watching, guys, and hope you enjoy this video. Make sure to like it if you do. And then if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I try to post every day. Sometimes I'm always playing Nuclearis. But like I said, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Helps me out. Helps me get this information out to more people. More people we have actively engaging. We can figure out this game and maybe there's little tips and tricks that everyone can share. So you can do that in the comment section. I know a lot of people have already given some tips and tricks and some of them actually work pretty good. So with that, I'll say goodbye and I'll check you guys later.